In this video, I'm going to be driving a banana around Brown's Hatch. And in the process, I'm going to explain why that is so significant. Welcome back to the Game of Muscle YouTube channel. Click that like button, subscribe, or don't. It's entirely up to you. There you can see on the screen a banana. A banana. <laughs> Our banana. A nice Cavendish banana. Slightly, uh, slightly uh, shadowed and illuminated by the beautiful sunlight provided by Sol and Shader Patch in Assetto Corsa. But that banana is ready to get ready to get going i have to say so uh but before we get driving it we do need to make sure the setup's correct we've got the uh, fuel set to 50 liters you can never have too much fuel in your banana and the tires are set to 31 psi we've put the banana in the refrigerator for a little bit because uh well if you put it in the freezer it goes soggy and mushy and if you put it in the oven it goes soggy and mushy the key is to just put the banana in the fridge for a short amount of time take it out and you'll have the ideal 31 psi required for optimal race strategy now uh let's get on the grid with this and start driving here we go well we're on the grid already let's get on the track lift it up grip onto that banana <laughs> look at that firm grip of that the end of the banana there. You want to hold on to your banana nice and tight. Ah! <laughs> oh, my God. Look at the guy to the right. She's oddly reminiscent of uh, that Star Wars scene with them flying through the forest, but with bananas and at Brands Hatch. So, <laughs> so, the real question. Why, why is this banana so significant? Well, wow. Well, I'm going, to ex I'm going to tell you. This is so significant because it really highlights what is absolutely bloody incredible. Oh, heel and toe, got to be careful. Bloody incredible about Assetto Corsa. And that is, if you can think of it, it can exist in Assetto Corsa. And there's no other simulator like that. I mean, back in day... R Factor 1 kind of fulfilled that as this sort of generic mod platform, but it never got to the extent that you've got to an Assetto Corsa where you can. <laughs> going around Brands Hatch at uh, 91 kilometers per hour in a banana against other bananas uh, with reasonably good physics here, I have to say. I mean, the force feedback doesn't seem to work on this banana. But uh, I can't imagine a banana would have that much uh, grip, especially as it's apparently levitating above the ground. Um, but outside of banana racing... <laughs> we're a bit faster than the AI here. I'm a banana pro. Outside of the banana racing, um, AC as a platform is just it's mind-boggling. The, the versatility of the physics engine in the Seto Corsa, in that you, you've got Formula 1 cars, you've got... DTM, BTCC, uh, vintage cars, you know, anything you can think of. And for the most part, assuming the mod has actually put the data in reasonably correctly, it, it all has a really good uh, fidelity and quality to it. Specifically because... No, don't drive off the track! Specifically because... <laughs> Assetto Corsa has such a good uh, and accommodating tire model and physics engine that if the data's semi-okay, the actual end driving is in Assetto Corsa is absolutely phenomenal. Whatever Kunos did with the tire model in Assetto Corsa, granted there might be aspects to it that are perfect for certain scenarios. Have we run out of fuel already? Um, the... Oh, no, I think it's just a sound issue <laughs> with the banana. Some one of the problems with bananas. Um, the actual tyre model and end drive is just so good in Assetto Corsa. You, you really can't beat it in any other simulator. I mean, and as it is right now, Assetto Corsa is just at a level... They're so high compared to what even it had it at launch. Specifically because... Jesus. Specifically because it was is being programmed and designed from the on, from, from the get-go to be able to support modding. Uh, stuff like Content Manager, Shader Patch, 
I've allowed it so that you... Some videos come out now on Assetto Corsa. Someone uh, recently posted a video on Reddit. Um, and it honestly looks like a next-gen title. Uh, and that's in 2D. By the time you factor in playing it in VR, and this is one of the few games that looks absolutely gorgeous, whilst also running well in VR, I'd, I'd say Automobile 2 and Project Cars 2 are also uh, along those lines. But when you add VR into it, along with uh, Soul and the Content Manager Shader Patch and everything, it's... It, it's just unbelievable. It's just absolutely unbelievable. Oh my god. Man, you, re you really have to watch out for your engine cutting out of the banana. We're, we're absolutely we're coming up to the final lap here. We're absolutely poning this. <laughs> I hope you guys appreciate the camera angles here that we've got set up. <laughs> now, I think with this banana, what they've obviously done is they've, they've taken uh, a random car made that car actual tar body and everything invisible uh, or as small as possible and invisible and then use the banana model so realistically this isn't a, a very accurate simulation of a banana um simcade but in fairness to the mod maker of this banana if it were an accurate simulation of a banana i, I doubt it would go very far i mean you, you'd probably get about three meters before it, the skin would fall off it and then it would, you know you, you just wouldn't get very good racing from it <laughs> just get a side angle view of this what oh no i can't get a side whoa i go to that view i can't see anything okay we're just gonna have to stick to this outside view here final lap let's i'm gonna let the uh i'm gonna let the ai catch up with this here so we can uh Witness banana rampage through through the hills here. <laughs> Look at the driver. He's just like casually sitting there on a banana. Three brands hatch as if that's just normal. This this is just, uh, this is motorsport. I think they should have done the 24 hours of Le Mans using this banana. I, I think it, may, it, it maybe would have hit a wider audience. Uh, of course, it, it might have damaged the reputation of sim racing, but... You know, these things happen. Oh, there we go. There's first place. <laughs> I should have put the banana at AI on a harder on a harder setting. Here comes another one. Right, let's follow behind this other guy. Come on. There he is. He's got an engine that works. Oh, he's gone. They're too... <laughs> They're overtaken too quick. Oh, maybe the engine's cutting out because this is a, a hybrid banana. Move over Formula E. This is Formula Potassium. Whoa! <laughs> Just look at it. Ridiculous. It's so small as well. That's what she said. You've got to be careful if you drive off the track, um, you fall through the floor with this. So you have to watch out for that. But that just adds to the excitement of banana racing. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, across the finish line. <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. There he goes! <laughs> Jeez. Oh, dear. Man, sim racing, guys, it's far too serious. Fourth place. We would have won easy if we hadn't slowed down, but, you know, I, I had to show off the other bananas. But, yeah, so, as I say, the point is, AC is just such a phenomenal mod platform, so versatile and so accommodating to all the different types of cars, and, and the fact that if you... If you want a car, you can literally go to a modder. Look, I really like this. I really want this vehicle in the game. And um, within a week, they could probably get a de semi-decent version of it. And if you, you know, you could probably within a month, two months of learning how to do uh, 3D modeling, or, you know, a lot of people just pill for models from elsewhere. If you've got the data to put into the into the uh, the, the file for how the car should handle and everything, uh, all the actual physics data for the specifics, you can get any car into a Seto Corsa and it will probably work pretty decent though the sound might cut on and off unless you unless you do that properly <laughs> fix the banana fix the banana mr banana mod maker but uh, yes got i mean absolutely phenomenal guys um i'm i'm not 100 percent sure i would recommend this banana to you um mostly because as i say if you go off the track the, uh, the the banana will fall through the road. So let's do that. Let's, <laughs> let's show what happens if you drive through the track. Oh, look at the external long distance view. Here we go. That's more like it. Ah! Okay, that is very hard to drive. 
Where am I? I can't even see myself. Okay. There we go. <laughs> right. I'm gonna, I've got to drift it, actually. What am I doing? Right, let's drift. We've got to drift the banana. Of all cars, it should be able to drift well. Here we go. Throw it in. Throw it in. Oh! <laughs> 360 no scope entry there. Absolute drift banana. Oh, come on. Oh, collision. Right, we're going to drive off the track. <laughs> drive off the track. Now, this, this is what you have to watch out for with this. Get ready for the game to crash. Oh, no, we're okay. We're okay. No, the engine's gone off. Oh, my God. It's like driving through a jungle. It's <laughs> smaller than the grass. Oh, there it is. <laughs> and we've got oh, the force feedback's gone 100% the opposite direction. So, yeah. The banana does have some problems. It's not what I'd describe as a perfect mod, but uh, a Seto Corsa, guys. If you haven't got a Seto Corsa, you need to get a Seto Corsa if you haven't got it. Make sure you get it. Make sure you get Content Manager. Make sure you try the banana. <laughs> Make sure you try some of the good mods. But a Seto Corsa, it's, it is still the best simulator. So, uh, need I say any more? Um, if you enjoyed this video, guys, Make sure you click the like button. Make sure you subscribe and all that business. I will see you very soon. We're going to do a live stream in a minute where we're going to do a little bit more serious racing, but not too serious. And, uh, well, until then, happy tea drinking, everybody. And goodbye.